Happy Vlogmas, day eight. We made it one week. Today has been a little bit dramatic because I was like editing a video too fast for Vlogmas day four. And there was just like a chunk in there that was like title <laughs> for 10 seconds. Like, oh my God. I usually watch all my videos all the way through before posting and I just missed that. I don't know how I missed that. Um, I think maybe I just need to switch to stronger coffee. Anyways, it's the best time of my day today, probably. Okay, we did seven, right? Yeah, yeah. today's day eight. How's everyone feeling? How's it going? We're well into December now. We have another, oh shoot. Snickers? Let's give it a try. I wish it had a better, like, brewing sound. <laughs> it smells like candy for sure. I'll be honest, I don't know how I feel about this whole daily vlogging thing. It's kind of a lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of filming when I wouldn't normally film. Even just like every single morning getting my coffee. It's getting, giving me a lot of structure and that's really nice, but it's more challenging than I thought for sure. Oh, I know exactly who I'm gonna shout out today. Des Moines Yoga, said, uh, 1976, 100%. She also feels kind of like an online mom to me. <laughs> her comments are just very thoughtful. Like she'll bring up things that happened in other videos and ask how I'm doing with that. And I'll put up the comment where I was putting up my Christmas tree. Like your tree is awesome. What, what matters is what you think about it. And I'm like, yeah, that's so true. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, even though my life is kind of online at the moment. So Des Moines Yoga 1976, <laughs> if you're watching this, just wanted to say thank you for being here and for all your support. And I feel your good vibes and I'm sending them right back to you. Do you feel it? Do you feel the good vibes? <laughs> so thank you, I appreciate it. What is on the docket for today? Today, I'm gonna be figuring out what to get my friends and family for the holidays. I feel like my favorite gifts are ones that are really just thoughtful. You don't have to spend money on them. Last, actually, hold on, I have a perfect example. Last year for Christmas, my grandma, who is like very old by the way, painted me this. When I was a kid, she would give me little painting lessons when I went over to visit her at her house. I mean, she's just so naturally good. Because she's very old, like, every Christmas is a gift at this point. And so just having something to hold on to that she did and that she was like thinking of me when she did, those are the things that I really like. So I want to get something for my friends and family that they're actually going to enjoy. It's December 8th. I have to have things here before the 20th, I think, because that's um, around the time I'm heading to Oregon for the holidays. But this is my little secret tip to getting my family's presents to them when they live in a different state than I do. I buy the bigger presents online and then I mail them directly to my mom's house and then they know if it's addressed to me, then don't open it because then when I get there, then I wrap it and I don't have to carry it in a checked luggage bag. That's really the only hack I have for you because I'm, I'm very last minute with gifts. Sometimes you just don't know what people, people say they don't want anything, but then they actually do. So you want to get something that's like useful to them, but also maybe something that they wouldn't normally buy themselves. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> to be honest, I'm feeling a little scattered today. I'm gonna try and just take some time to myself. On this cozy day in Queens, Chelsea writes her deepest, darkest secrets in her pop air journal. I have to update you. I was struggling to keep my personal life organized for the holidays with all my gift and travel planning. I would get way too overwhelmed with everything on my digital calendar that I would freeze up and not get anything done. Normally, I love organizing and planning. I just didn't know what was wrong with me. But luckily for me and for everyone watching, Papier has some extraordinarily beautiful and personalized travel journals to help you stay organized this holiday season. A big thank you to Papier for sponsoring my video today. I guess it's no secret that Papier is known for its stunning stationery. I mean, look at the journals that I have. They're both so vibrant in design, but also the quality of the pages is really nice. They're equally smooth and sturdy, which is something that I really do look for when I'm deciding on a new journal. Papier has journals and planners for pretty much every theme possible from like sleep journals to recipe journals, gratitude journals, bullet journals, and my personal favorite, 
the travel journal because I'm going home for the holidays this year. And she can't seem to stay organized to save her life these days. I can hear you. Anyways, I have been heavily leaning on my travel journal so I don't completely lose my mind. There are specific sections where you can write down like your travel wish list and different trip ideas, a summary of your journey, as well as transportation details so you can keep track of flight numbers, like any buses that you're taking, your accommodation, like hotels, addresses, and who to contact when you get there. There's a whole section as well where you can just plan out your itinerary, which I find super helpful to have that as a hard copy. My personal favorite part is the budget side because I always tend to just like run my credit card and not think about it when I'm on vacation, but I can't do that. <laughs> and also the packing list. Let me know if you think I forgot anything, okay? <laughs> oh, I have to remember to pack toothbrush and toothpaste. I forgot toothpaste on my last trip. This travel journal really has it all. Like you're not gonna miss any details in your trip. It doesn't leave anything up to chance and it has it all in one place. My travel journal is personalized with my name obviously, but you can put the name of whoever you're gifting this to as a really cute and personalized touch for a gift. Details like that really do go a long way. You can also choose from a bunch of different unique covers depending on your personal style or the person you're gifting this to and their style. It took me forever to decide which ones I wanted because there are just so many cute ones on their website. I remember seeing one that had tigers on it and there's also one with parakeets. Like what? <laughs> so cool. Mom, I know you're watching, but don't watch this part. Everyone, basically I was thinking of getting my mom a recipe book because she has her own garden. And I think it would just be such a cute way for her to keep track of her favorite recipes from her homegrown produce. And it might be something that she could pass on to me one day once she's filled it up. I love how they have different sections for different price points. So if you would like it to find a gift for under $20, they have a bunch of little cute stationery items that I think would make perfect stocking stuffers. So whether you decide to give Poppy Art a try for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, make sure to use my code CHELSEA15 at checkout for 15% off your order this holiday season. Thank you so much again to Poppy Art for sponsoring my video today. Okay, so this lighting sucks. <laughs> I just got a sandwich at a bodega because I have no groceries here and that's something I have to do at some point. Haven't done it yet. I actually do have to like figure out what I'm gonna get my family and friends. So I figured we just figure that out together. Maybe if you have some ideas, drop them in the comments. It takes me time to figure this out. So I'm talking with my mouth full, it's so rude. So basically I'm doing gifts for just like my small circle, pretty much. Obviously mom, grandma, sister, and then my two best friends. So I've already been kind of noodling on it a little bit. I've been sponsored by a few brands in the past that I actually really like and I think that would make really good gifts. I'm gonna get something from Primally Pure for maybe my sister and Georgina. Okay, I also saw these things. I was scrolling last night. I saw these items, soup cubes. You cook your homemade soup and then you freeze them into cubes per portion. So then if you reheat it for like yourself and someone else, then you can just push out this frozen soup like ice cubes in the silicone containers and then reheat it that way. I think that's really cute. I don't know if my sister has any of that, but she makes her own soups and stuff. So I was thinking about that. I'm definitely gonna be gifting some Papier notebooks, depending on what type of notebook I think my friends would like. Last year I actually got my sister um, a projector from Amazon, because she likes to watch movies and like you can put it by your bed and then look up and then there's the movie there, which I think makes so much sense to have it on the ceiling. It's like better for the neck if you can just lay down and watch it, you know? It's the good on the back too. And then I got my mom a friendship lamp because you know, my family lives in Oregon. It's connected to Wi-Fi and through an app. And so she has a lamp, I have a lamp. And then when either of us touch it, it changes the colors for both. So it's a way to let each other know that we're like thinking of them. It gives a sense of like that I'm there with her even though I'm not. She did really like that. But other than that, I just kind of like go on Amazon <laughs> and scroll and, and see something creative and then I go for it. But I do like more personalized gifts for sure. Okay, first let's go to Primally Pure, their website. Oh, a candle trio is cute. I still freaking love their deodorant. Okay, so let's see. Best sellers. They had a Black Friday sale too that I missed and I'm really mad at myself for missing that. Lip balm. This could be cute. Starter kit, body butter. Body butter's a cute idea, actually. Four ounces, that's not that much, but I might do that for Georgina. I'm writing it down. <laughs> if I don't do this for my best friend, I'll give this to my sister. We have that in the cart, and then I think my mom would like this. <sighs> Christmas shopping is expensive. 
Expensive. So I'm gonna pay for this. Honestly, it's kind of game over for me once I memorize the security code on my credit card because if I have to get up to get my credit card to input the information, I probably won't buy it because I'm that lazy. And now <laughs> when I remember it, then it's just like choo -choo 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 -choo. I can't I can't keep doing that. Okay, so I ordered those. I'm gonna go to Poppier website recipe journal. What's this one? This is cute. Oh yeah, I like spiral covers for recipe books because you can lay it flat and it's easier to to write. I think that would be best for my mom. That's really cute. Yeah, of course I'm gonna personalize it. Favorite recipes maybe? Maybe home grown recipes. Oh no, I can do like seasonal recipes. Great. I think I might do this for my friend Julie as well because she also travels a lot too. Should I get her a travel up? Oh yeah. Okay, and a cart. I'm gonna pay for this. We are doing great. I think even just buying these as like the base gifts and then if I see anything else, like for the next couple weeks, then I can just add more things then. It's not even that late and the sun is setting. I had a year where I bought subscription boxes for my family and they ended up liking it. Oh, let's find those uh, soup containers. I don't even know, She, my sister probably has everything she already needs cooking related, you know. Cubes. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I feel like this is something practical. What else? I feel like, let's go on the holiday deal tab. Oh, a sunrise alarm clock. I should get this for Julie because she was telling me that her room doesn't have a window in it. <laughs> what are the reviews like? I don't buy anything unless something has reviews. Okay. We love it. So I think Julie's done, Georgina's done. My sister, I have a stocking stuffer and the soup cubes, but I think I need to get her something else. I needed to think about what I want to get for my mom. Moms are so difficult. At least my mom is, says I never want anything. She never tells me what she wants, but she likes to knit. She likes to garden. She likes to travel. Whoa, imagine if I got this Christmas tree instead of the one that I have. We have to go to Google. Perfect gift for your mom for Christmas. Oh, Oprah. Okay. A photo printer, that's cute. Oh, maybe that's a cute idea, actually. People over the age of 50, maybe let me know <laughs> if you actually like to have the physical pictures because having it on just a phone isn't as, isn't as satisfying. And I feel like mothers like to hold on to actual prints of pictures. Also, because my mom visits my grandma a lot and my grandma can't see the phone so easy. Let's check the price of Amazon. This is kind of cool, though. No, this is such a good idea. It's expensive, but it's my mother. We're adding that to the cart. Oh, digital picture frame. A throw blanket. Wow, there's a lot of stuff on here. Do you see anything that you like or that you would buy? Oh, a Headspace meditation membership. That's an interesting idea. Oh, I remember hearing about that um, story worth. Is that what it is? Yeah. So basically, you write your story one week at a time based on the prompts, and then you can get a printed hardcover book of those by the end of the year. So there's 52 different stories. Oh, I like this. Okay, I think I'll do that on my own time, and I'm gonna get these things from Amazon. And I think that's a great start. <laughs> I don't wanna like blow too much money today, but let me know if you saw anything that you liked and that you also may wanna get your friends and family. Gift giving is hard, but also like planning for my trip too. Cause I always think going home is a very simple thing, but it never ends up being that simple. Excuse me. I'm like happy to be starting to think about that ahead of time. Cause I usually wait until the last minute or I don't think about it at all. And it honestly drives my family crazy too. Cause they can't make any plans cause they don't know what I want to do. So I need to be better about that and plan ahead in it as advanced as I can. Okay, cool. I'm going to buy this stuff. We'll probably wrap it together at some point, but yeah, this was fun. 